Hello, my name's Maureen. I work at Holbrook's Library. We do lots of fun things there for children, especially during school holidays. But today I'm going to tell you a story about Maggie here. Say hello, Maggie. And her friend Rollo. Maggie and Rollo lived in a little house in Bluebell Wood. And they looked after the house and Rollo used to love to do the gardening. And Maggie was very good at cooking. So one Friday, Maggie said she got a lot of cooking to do and Rollo said that he would go to the shops to buy some sausages for their tea. Rollo said, I'll be back about 12 o'clock. That was the time they normally had their lunch. And off he went through the gate and into the woods to go to the shop. Maggie was very busy and you made bread and you made cakes, didn't you? And you made sardine flatjacks for your lunch. You did. So when it got to 12 o'clock, the flapjacks were ready, but there was no sign of Rollo. So Maggie looked at the clock and when it got to half past 12, she thought it would better be quick because the flapjacks will be ruined. But she waited and waited. But by the time it got to tea time, she was really worried about him and said, I'm going to have to go out to find him. So she went out into the woods and she met Cyril the squirrel. And she said, Cyril, have you seen Rollo? He went out this morning and he hasn't come back yet. Cyril said, no, I haven't seen him, but I'll help you to look for him. And they looked this way and they looked that way and they called. But there was no sign of Rollo. So they kept walking and then they met the two big dogs called Sally and Kenny. And they'd been playing ball and Maggie said, have you seen Rollo? He's been out all day and he hasn't come back yet. I don't know where he is. And they said, we'll help you to look for him. So they carried on through the woods. And they were calling and looking. And then they met Herbert the fox, who was very important in the wood. And Maggie said, Herbert, have you seen Rollo? He's been gone all day. He went to the shops to buy sausages and he hasn't come back yet. And Herbert said, no, I haven't seen him, but I will help you to look. And by this time, they got to the middle of the woods where there used to be a deep pond. And across that pond, there used to be a bridge made out of a big plank of wood. But the, the water had gone long, long ago. And instead of the water now, there was just grass and flowers. And then Herbert said, look. The bridge has gone. And Kenny said, no, it hasn't gone. I can see the ends of the planks of wood. The bridge is broken. And Herbert the fox said, quiet, everybody. And they all stood still. And then they heard the whimpering of a puppy. And Maggie said, it's Rollo. And then before anybody could stop her, she jumped down to the hole. And Rollo said, oh, Maggie, I'm so pleased to see you. He said, I thought nobody was going to come to find me. And he said, I was walking across the bridge and it broke. He says, and I've hurt my paw and I've lost the sausages. <gasps> Do you remember sausages? Yeah. And he said, how are we going to get out? He said, you can't carry me and I can't climb because I've hurt my paw. And Maggie said, don't worry, there's lots of other animals, they will come up with something. So Herbert the fox said, what we need is a long piece of rope. And Cyril the squirrel said, but we haven't got any rope. And then a quiet little cat that had been helping them to look, her name was Tulip, she said, I've got a good idea. She said, what we could do is all hold on to each other's tails to make a long line down into the hole and we, we, we could get Rollo out that way. And everybody thought, that's a good idea. And that's just what they did. Herbert the fox sat on the edge of the hole with his tail hanging down. And one by one, the animals slid down, holding on to each other's tails in a long line until they reached the bottom of the hole. And Maggie said to Rollo, all you've got to do now is to hold on tight. She said, I'll come after you, and so I won't hurt your poorly paw. 
Zerolo held on tight and Maggie had a quick look round and she found the sausages and she even found a ball that Rolo had bought at the shops and so at the top of the hole Herbert the fox slowly pulled forward until one by one the animals were all at the top and Rolo was safe and sound. Isn't that right? And Maggie said, Oh, thank you so much, everybody. And Herbert the fox said, It was little Tulip the cat's idea to make a long line. And they all said, Three cheers for Tulip! Hooray! And Maggie said, It's getting a bit dark now and we'd all better go home. She said, but tomorrow you're all invited to our party and there'll be sausages and flapjacks and lots of lovely cakes to eat. And that's just what they did. All right, bye. Say bye-bye, everybody.